Um, okay, so let me jump over to this next slide, which I think this is extremely helpful, but um, we have added visualize effect. Actually, um, so you can see now you can deviate a single tolerance or a float <clears throat> on a single or multiple features. So what you'll notice now in all of your tolerances, if we go into a tolerance, there's another button that's called visualize effect. And when you hit that button, you can build your model, and I'm gonna show you, of course, but you can build your model and you can hit visualize effect and it will deviate just that tolerance. But you have all your moves assembled so you can see the effect of just that tolerance on your particular measurement. And you can see that we um, also have visualize effect in your data output tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump back over to the model because I, you know, I told you I was gonna skip it earlier, but you can see uh, we have this button here, visualize effect. So if we're looking at this gap measurement right here, and it's saying, hey, the number one contributor is the float left cover to, um, left cover to this base here. And you can see this left cover, I'm gonna go ahead and just separate this so that you can see and go over here. There we go. So the left, the left cover is um, locating to a four-way locator here and a two-way locator back here. And that's what if I go into, if I go into this left cover and I go to my options, you can see I have a flow 3.9 going into four millimeters. So once, you know, once you run your analysis, well, I thought I lost it for a second there. I can come over here and I can click on any one of my tolerances and say visualize effect. And now if I say visualize effect and I say continue, you can see this is applying that just that float and you can see how it will have an effect on here and you can of course you can do it one step at a time or you can do it continuously if i come over i'm going to close this and i'm going to go to this position surface profile and you can see how that tolerance is applied to all of these faces, okay? It's a single tolerance, but you know, this button nets up down on some of them and this button nets up down. I can visualize the effect here. And if I say continue, you can see how both of these buttons are floating around due to that profile tolerance on these surfaces. Or if I want, I can um, hit this pull down and I can see these are all the surfaces that that single tolerance is applied to. And I can say, okay, I want to, well, I guess, yeah. For me to do that first, let me go into this tolerance and say show features. not telling me which one is uh, CAD surface seven. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe I'll be able to, uh, if I separate this, give me one second, I turn my mesh on. Now I'm gonna go back into this tolerance and say visualize effect, hit this pull down, CAD surface seven, continue. Okay, you can see it's moving that surface there. So that's CAD surface seven. So if I actually build this, visualize effect again, go just to CAD surface seven and say continue, then you can see just that surface is moving. That happens to be the indexing feature or you know, the move that locates this part here. 
and you can see just this piece is moving. So now, you know, before this existed, before this existed, you would build your model and you'd get to hit deviate. Everything's jiggling around all over in space and you can't really get a good feel for what's causing all your variation except when you get to your sensitivity analysis. And even when you get to your sensitivity analysis, sometimes it's hard to see. So now, any one of these tolerances, you can say visualize effect. And this button, so if I go into this measurement directly, then you have um, visualize effect here. If I go into a tolerance directly, then you have visualize effect here. So anywhere you're applying a tolerance and when it shows up anywhere in your results, you can now activate visualize effect just moving that tolerance through its high, low, and nominal and seeing how that tolerance is affecting your model. 